Yo, what's going on you guys? So I'm going to show you how I increased my stream quality and at the same time removed stuttering from those high action games while I'm streaming. So this video is mostly geared towards people with lower end machines or using older parts. So Valorant was the game that always gave me the most trouble, the most stuttering, and it was pretty much unplayable if I actually wanted to be good at the game while streaming. I could only play it off stream, but now that's pretty much all changed. And before we get into the settings real quick let me tell you my specs so i have a gtx 670 and an intel i7 2600 now something good on my pc is i do have 24 gigs of ram so that does help out a bit but just so you guys know my cpu is 10 years old and my gpu is 9 years old Anyways guys, let's get into the settings. Alright, before we get into the OBS settings, I will have to mention this video is for NVIDIA GPU users exclusively. So first things first, we're going to open NVIDIA control panel. Now I'm going to just kind of show my options on the screen. I'm not going to talk too much about them. You're pretty much just going to want to make sure your settings are the same as mine. That's because I've gone through a bunch of NVIDIA control panel videos and for older GPUs and stuff, I've pretty much determined that these are the best settings for performance and getting the most out of your GPU, reducing all that stutter and having the best possible FPS. Now really quick, some guides are going to mention that you want to have sharpening on. Honestly, I noticed stuttering in Counter-Strike. Now Counter-Strike isn't very hardware intensive, so this was a big red flag for me. So only put on sharpening if you have a newer GPU and you are probably not going to be watching this video if you have a newer GPU anyways. But anyways, one thing I will say is make sure your monitor has the highest refresh rate possible. So your monitor will have some options for resolution, but not all those resolutions can support that maximum frame rate. So make sure you have the best resolution on your monitor that, that you can use for your highest refresh rate. Because the higher your refresh rate, the more FPS you can see. All right, now that we went through the NVIDIA control panel, hopefully you got some of those settings. You can go back, pause the video, look at the settings. Anyways, we're going to move on to OBS now. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on NVIDIA NVENC for your encoding. The reason you're going to want to do this is because it's going to utilize your GPU and take a lot of load off of your CPU. Now, you're going to notice that your frames aren't as good as they are when you're not streaming, obviously, because you're running OBS. But since your CPU is a little bit more freed up, you're going to have a lot smoother gameplay. So you can actually play games like Valorant, still play well, and still have a smooth stream. Now, this next step is very important. It's going to be talking about bitrate. You're going to have to go to Google and Google speed test, and you're going to want to take the first three. The reason you're going to want to take the first three is because I've noticed I get slightly different results, so you're going to kind of want to take the average of that, and that's how you're going to kind of determine your bit rate. So for the tests, I'm getting anywhere from 8 to 12 upload, which is very high for standard internet, so I'm able to stream at 5,000 bit right now there's a bunch of cheat sheets out there and I would suggest looking at Nvidia's cheat sheet and also whatever platform you're streaming on so YouTube has a cheat sheet Twitch has a cheat sheet for example so for Twitch I have the optimal settings. I'm going to be streaming 720p at 60 FPS. Now, I'm only streaming 60 FPS because I can reliably stream 5,000 bitrate because I'm getting at least 8 to 12 upload. Now, you don't want to cut it too close to your actual upload because then you won't be able to use programs like Discord if you have to talk with friends during your stream or stuff like that. You do want to save some upload for those other programs. Now, most of these things you're going to want to just copy, but key interval i will mention if you're on twitch the default is two and obs will most likely have zero so go ahead and change that profile you want on high now we're moving on to my favorite part about nvenc and that is the preset so you have max quality quality performance max performance and some low latency options now honestly if i were you i would go experiment with these personally i found that quality makes me stutter and performance 
seems like it's giving me some good picture, but at the same time, I have zero stutter, so I don't really need to go to max performance personally. Maybe if I'm playing a different game, I'll have to switch things up, but for the time being, I'm using performance. I would suggest using performance or max performance, but I will say if you do have a very high refresh rate monitor, so anything above 144 and you're watching this video, your rig is similar to mine, I would just go with max performance so you can get those extra frames and possibly play just a little bit better. Now moving on to the video settings in OBS first thing, make sure the canvas is the same resolution as your normal monitor. Now I would recommend if you're 1080p or somewhere near 1080p, I would recommend scaling down to 720 for your actual output to the stream. That's because you're going to need a ridiculously high bit rate to even stream a nice 1080 stream anyways so you might as well just stream 720 and if you have a higher bit rate just go with 60 fps because the fps doesn't really affect your cpu or gpu it's mostly based on your internet which is a good thing so moving on to the other settings you're going to want the sampling to be 32 samples and with that you're going to have a nice and smooth stream nvenc has really changed my streaming career, to be honest, it kind of feels like I have an upgraded PC, even though it's the exact same. But I will have to mention that all this is not going to work if you're running the highest settings in your game. So if you're not playing an action game, you can probably get away with a 30 FPS stream, run some higher settings, and maybe you're not going to get like 100 frames. Maybe you'll only get like 50 frames, but that'll be more than enough for your stream. So... For people who aren't playing FPS games, you're probably going to want to copy exactly what I'm doing here because I'm getting enough FPS where I can still actually play the game and have a smooth stream. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.